Iran for the first time supplied Russia with the latest aerial bombs for attacks on Ukraine. For the first time, Iranian authorities supplied Russia with the latest aerial bombs for attacks on Ukraine. This was reported by Build Open Data Analysis expert Julian Repka. After studying video footage from the Kursk region, where a heavy Iranian Khods Mohaja 6 drone crashed. According to the analyst, it was this drone that carried the latest Iranian Chem 5 guided bombs. It is noteworthy that in Iran itself, they were adopted only five years ago. Apparently, the drone was supposed to attack the Sumi region, but for an unknown reason, it fell. Robka noted, before this incident, Russian occupiers had not used high-precision Kaim-5 in Ukraine. According to Robka, their use indicates a new level of military cooperation between Tehran and the Kremlin. It became known that the invaders lost one of their reconnaissance and attack drones of the Mohajer 6 type purchased from Iran. Then Defense Express, citing Russian public pages, reported that the fall occurred in the Kursk region. Previously, Iranian media claimed that these smart bombs, depending on the flight altitude, can destroy targets at a distance of 12 to 20 kilometers, and there is also an unknown type of this bomb, the range of which has been doubled to 40 kilometers. It remains unknown how many reconnaissance and attack drones of the Mohaja 6 type may be in service with the Russian occupation forces. It will be recalled that the Russian Federation will receive these UAVs in the summer to autumn of 2022. As previously reported by the Defense Express, the Iranian Mohaja 6 drone is 75% assembled from foreign components, about half are made by US companies and another third are Japanese. There are also components from China, Germany and even Israel. At the same time, we now have a case where Mohaja 6 fell directly in the Russian Federation and here we can cautiously assume that the enemy probably has and is probably implementing plans to use these drones to support their offensive actions in the Kharkiv region or even to launch strikes on the Sumi region and also, of course, intelligence and surveillance. At least 16 people were killed after Cyclone Rimal lashed the coastline in India and Bangladesh on Monday. The cyclone has also caused major power cuts across both countries. Ten people were killed in Bangladesh, with some victims losing their lives en route to shelters or when their homes or walls collapsed, or drowned, the storm disaster management chief Majainer Rahman said. According to the State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief Mohibur Rahman, the cyclone destroyed nearly 35,000 homes across 19 districts. An additional 115,000 homes were partially damaged. Six people were killed in India's West Bengal state, four of them electrocuted. Around 3 million people are left without electricity in Bangladesh, prompting State Minister for Power and Energy Nasrul Hamid urging people to be patient as repairs were underway. Our crews began repairing the lines as soon as the wind speed subsided, he said. Many people are stranded, it will be another long night ahead with millions not having electricity or shelter. People having no idea of how damaged their homes, land and livestock are, Bangladeshi climate expert Liakath Ali said in a statement. Cyclone Rimal also disrupted around 10,000 telecom towers, leaving millions without mobile service. Both nations moved nearly a million people to storm shelters, about 800,000 in Bangladesh and roughly 110,000 in India, authorities said. Thank you.